What's going on guys? Today is the day all of that starts going back on the truck, which I'm very excited for. What we have here, at least everything on the front end for the suspension and steering. What, I, what we have, we have our springs, those are three inch drop springs, two and a half inch drop spindles, the stock lower control arms that we refurbished, drop shocks, tubular upper control arms, idler arm, pitman arm, stabilizer, we have our relay rod, we have a brand new quick ratio steering box, inner and outer tie rods, and adjuster sleeves. So let's get rolling. Same thing on the other side and we'll get started on the steering. Do that. We run into a slight problem. The idler arm and pitman arm. I ordered are not for this year truck. They're too long and it's pushing the relay rod into the front cross member. So I've got to order a couple new parts. I'll catch up with you when I get those in a couple days. I'm back day two. I got the new part ordered. It wasn't the Pittman arm, it was just the idler arm. I went back and referenced the part numbers. For whatever reason, the Pittman arm that I have, or the idler arm that I have, is either something I don't, I can't find my, um, can't find my order history on it so it is either something that was mispulled or something that I just flat out misordered but looking at them you can see this one here if I line them up correctly this one here is just a little bit longer and these are a little bit bigger it didn't even fit on there so I'm stealing these boots because the ones that the one that I got has just these little foam things and that's that's bullshit. So, swap those over and we'll get this on.
days, haircut, beard trim, and about 20 degrees later, we are going to get back on the front end of this truck. We are gonna get the brake rotors, the calipers, um, as well as a front sway bar on, and then we're gonna put the wheels on so we can get this thing back into a roller. So let's get rolling. <laughs> With the calipers for the banjo bolt assembly, they're, they don't thread, they're too small. So that's super frustrating when you buy a kit that it's not all the right shit. So calipers are not going on today. They could go on, but you just have to pull them off again to put the brake pads and everything in, so I'm just gonna wait, but kind of frustrated.
wrapping up for the day. Got the wheels on. These are Black Rhino Mala. They're 20 by 9.5. These have a plus 15 offset, which we're probably going to have to run a spacer for a couple different reasons, which I somewhat anticipated. Um, I'd like to get it out so we can get the cap on that. And then when we look, this is a little bit turned in. Uh, we're going to be real close to that sway bar. So we're going to have to bump that out a little bit. It'll just, just be interesting to see how that all lines up with the fender. But um, yeah, everything went together really nice. productive day. Uh, able to get everything on that front end pretty much complete. Uh, I would have liked to have the banjo bolts be the right size to fit so I could have the calipers a little further along but that's okay. It was so hot today I am pretty much spent. But we've knocked a lot off the list in this video. Uh, upper control arms, all of the suspension, tie rods, ball joints, all the bushings for the lower, the spindles, We've knocked a lot off there. Steering gear. So now we got to move to the back side of the suspension so that we can get that a little bit lower. Um, but beyond that, little by little, uh, we're just going to keep chipping away at it and we'll see what we get done next time. <laughs>